your main man today. You understand, baby? We got yeah from the mail. The mailman, if you will, come to my door. He said, my main man, I have boxes for you. And I said, you give me all the packages, baby. And you know he sure did. Now, what we're talking about today is we got two boxes of Almond Cat. I'm just going to open up one of these here. I'm still getting the, the hang, the general vibrations, you understand, of exactly how to do these magic unboxing videos. We're going to get better at it. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we will see, Barbarian Horde. Uh, and I, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a, an RPG video after this one uh, for your uploading pleasure all too soon. Now, this set, Amiket, I was like really excited. I love the ancient Egyptian mythology, the history, the Egyptology, if you will, baby. But and then I actually saw the cards after it ordered two boxes deep. I paid ship to my house. I did just get them today. Today's Monday, so it took a few days longer than a lot of people to get the almond cat. But I only paid $89.99, which for a box is pretty good. However, the Egyptian gods, I am I'm not all that uh, all that pleased with 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 the way they came out, I was hoping that uh, Bond 2 was going to put some minus one, minus one counters. Because your main man loves minus one, minus one counters. Imagine the guy. I'm just going to open up one. I think we'll go with this one. Or perhaps, or perhaps will it be this one? I don't think it will. So, let's, let, let's do this one right there. You can see a uh, brand new sealed box just out of the containing. Uh, and we are going to open this one up. The Europeans like to call them displays, from what I can see. So you have that. Uh, I was really not impressed that they made the Jackal, the Proto Anubis, nothing at all like the Anubis. I, I'm a, I really enjoy Anubis, and I definitely will be watching the American Gods TV show. You understand? I love that book. Anubis was a character in there. I wondered what they're going to do with him in this show. So we have some different actual packages. So I'll let you guys. Have a look, particularly you guys that aren't magic players, but are just coming in just to see what your main man is going to ramble on about in my rambling custom. This is the white god. I don't know why they don't call them goddesses. I think that's a goddess. I don't know. It's kind of a male sort of figure. But, of course, Bast is a goddess. I saw. I don't know if that one is. And you have this picture. And then I think that's it. I think they all, all sets have like four pictures nowadays. So you can see that back in the day it was just one it didn't have the cards on there so i'm going to go through these uh yeah so i guess i'm gonna have some 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 picking up to do because the floor is where these are going baby and my mighty my mighty strides and, and slamming down uh caused the very the very camera to vibrate let's get off uh we'll just start we'll show you some uncommons to begin with will i pull a oh this one i built a commander deck Oh, in fact, there we go. I want both of those in my commander deck. So that, those, right off the bat, <coughs> uh, Gideon's Intervention, eh, not a Bolos land. And what do we have here? An Insect Token. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be needing these. Building a, um, a Petra commander deck. I think I have everything out other than what I'm going to get out of these boxes. I needed both of those for it. I have both of those, and I need the uh, a Petra, so... But with two boxes, I think there's a pretty good chance we're going to get that rare. So let's just go to the uncommons here. Let's start there. So. <coughs> so we're going to have for the rare rags to riches. I'm going to speed up a little bit as we go through these. But I want to show you guys at least a couple of the uncommons. Boom! Speaking of oh, highly uncommon, the rarest of the rare, uh, within the Ring of Fire, you can get your hats there or my uh, links from the from, from the uh, beginning of the page, if you will. About damn near had heat stroke today. It was, it was very hot out there and the uh, AC broke down, broke down in my truck, in my work truck, so if, I, uh, if I'm kind of gibbering like I'm a bit of a simpleton right now, I mean, that has nothing to do with it. That's just how I talk. So, let's go forward here. Um, I, I don't even know all the cards to the set. Uh, 
Binding Mummy. That looks pretty cool. It's a common. I don't know if it's any good or not, but it looks pretty cool. It's a 2-2 zombie bear, basically, in white. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, you may tap target artifact or creature. Yeah. Probably a pretty good card in draft other than that. Oh, there we go. So I think this is going to be a fairly here. The commons. I think this will be a fairly sought after uh, card by a lot of people to casual circles. The Regal Caracal. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. I uh, It's definitely not something I'm going to be playing. I'm not a big cat fan. <laughs> Not a cat person, I'm sure anyone that watches probably could have figured that out. We have a first foil, Oketra's Monument. So Oketra's Monument, I don't think those are really worth anything. Another non bolus land and a worm token. So that pack wasn't really very good. The I'm really not a foil guy either. I every once in a while one really looks pretty to me, so but for the most part. I don't really mess with them. Fan bear. They had a lot of these guys going on. There's another one that just the artwork I like. Floodwaters. So you're gonna, oh, here we go. I have a uh, 60 card deck this guy would go into. Um, can't be blocked. And he's a 1-2 Naga Rogue for 1 blue. I think that card's pretty good, actually. And, oh, there we go. Manicores have never really been good in Magic. I don't know if there's any that are... It's probably one. <coughs> probably one that's okay. Yeah, yeah. and our first Bolos land. Fittingly enough, a Swamp. I am... Almost extensively, exclusively, and at all times, a black player. I love to play black. I love to play black. I have pretty much all the time I'm playing Magic. So when I look at packs or sets or whatever, that's really what I always look at first is is a black card. Either that or now that I play Commander all the time. I love Commander. Really kind of got me back, other than, than, my, than my son. My son really is what got me back, and he said, oh, well, you, you get these werewolves for me, and then we'll play this. Yeah, he saw the werewolf cards, and he saw some of the power, my son loves power metal, so some of the power metal videos, he saw some like vampire cards and werewolf cards, and, and he just wanted them, and I was like, oh God, not, the, not Magic the Gathering again. And I, I knew I relapsed hard, and I have. I relapsed hard. <laughs> As you can see by these two boxes and the many other videos that we have up here. Um, I I really like to play um, uh, you know, the, more of a casual format. And I don't know, there's probably no reason at all for me to buy boxes. I like buying them around some all just to open them up. The Zendikar stuff really wasn't for me, although I did buy this box, which you have seen in a previous video, of Ether Revolt, which most of the cards are still sitting in that box. Um, but generally I just buy, I, I build decks on tap out and I just buy exactly what I need for the deck and I don't really trade <laughs> at all anymore. Not that I wouldn't, every once in a while I do, it just, I don't know, just not like it used to be. Alright, let's see here, and, uh, ooh, that's a, that's a good rare. I got these guys. This, this one, this one, uh, Orzov is probably my favorite color combination, it kind of vacillates between that and Demir. Uh, of course, Esper, ultimately I'm an Esper player, I guess. Like my man Reps Esper. Uh, but the Wayward Servant, I kind of like him. I mean, I don't know where I'd put him. In terms of Commander, I don't know really. I don't really like an Esper Commander for Tribal Zombies. And I like this guy. He's a Tribal Zombies guy, you know. So, I don't know. He doesn't fit in Geese and Giraffe. And most of the good... Um, yeah, Grim Grim. Other than that, I think all the good commanders are black. I might be. Oh, that's a jack. Or well, I got this guy. This guy's kind of cool. Another foil. When I first saw it, I was kayfabing you, you guys, just showing you this stuff. I thought we were gonna have a um, an invocation. 
So in these two boxes, we'll hit a vacation. Well, my luck, the chance is about zero. So, <laughs> oh, but this is a rare, so I don't think it's a good rare. I don't know. I'll have to actually read it. Maybe, maybe it is a good card. So uh, there's another bolo swamp. First two lands are swamps. Here we go. We got this guy on that token form. And the insect tokens and even, I think even the 5-5 five, five worm tokens are going to be useful to me. I do actually like to have tokens for the cards that I'm playing. And I'm not going to rush through this, so just take your time. Enjoy. Put me on the background. Enjoy. We'll grab that token off the back. Uh, but yeah, these the zombie tokens, I don't know. I don't know that I'm really ever going to use them at all. Oh, here we go. Splendid Agony. That's the first one of those, at least, that I noticed. That is also a card I need one for my commander deck. Uh, and yeah, here's our, our uncommons. So, we got these guys. Oh, booyah! This, well, you guys probably will be excited. I am. Was this, this I want. I have a Durant Siege Tower commander deck. And this is well sweet. Well sweet for that deck. So that's that's one of the cards I wanted out of the set. Um, and wow, that's a really pretty looking foil. I think foils lose a lot coming through on the video. But, I mean, wow. Looks very cool. Uh, I don't know. Set that somewhere else. And uh, my normal planes. <clears throat> I don't like this planes. It's too dark. I like my planes to be rather light. And I don't like this swamp. It's too, eh. I don't like the eh kind of swamps. I thought the original swamps weren't very good either from like the Alpha Beta Unlimited release. Having played a lot in that time period, uh, I just, I really wasn't that impressed with the way those look. Boom, take a look at that Within the Ring of Fire. Pick up your Within the Ring of Fire RPG today. Uh, let's see here. I got these. Hmm, I don't even know this one. I'm just kind of looking at this guy. Oh, wait, no, I have seen this before. The Shadow Storm Vizier. Flying, whenever you cycle or discard a card, Shadow Storm Vizier gets a plus one plus one until end of turn. I'm trying to figure out, I might want to make like a cycle, cycling deck. It'd probably be more cycling than discard. But if she was in the right color, she might actually run in there. She's, she's not terrible. I don't know. I guess pro probably not good enough for commander slot. Uh, commit memory. I guess just to put a two in there. Commit two memory. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know if any of those cards are particularly good. I know Dust to Dawn is one I wanted, and oh, and the completely worthless piece of garbage. This is not even a token. Like, I I don't know why they even make these. Like, why not just put a token in there and and just put this? Like, they have advertisement on there anyway. Just put advertisement on it. Like, this is garbage. I don't want this. It's like you're asking me to throw something away for you. Uh, but there, there's the bolus. There's the bolus uh, island. That's a very attractive card. I like the island quite a bit. I also like the swamp quite a bit. So those will eventually end up there. I'm starting to get a little... I don't really go matching lands necessarily. But I'm starting to get a little fussy on my basic lands. And I'm turning with that sort of debug. So you know, that's unfortunate for me, I guess. But... Um, Sometimes I'll like want all, like all of, I don't know, another Splendid Agony, kind of liking that card. All of the, um, all, all swamps from like Kamigawa, or all mountains from Kamigawa for a particular commander deck. I really like, I like mountains and swamps from Kamigawa. Uh, the plains, ho ho ho! Look at that. Uh, I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to just take a back seat. I don't even want to see that. Boom. Right there. Take a look at that. Gideon of the trials. Just trials, man. He's Gideon. I guess Gideon there. I don't know. Like, I, I want a red Planeswalker that's kind of Gideon-ish. Like, big, beefy, like, you know, but let's, let's get us an Arnold Planeswalker, baby. That's what we need. What the hell is wrong with you? Wouldn't that be awesome? It'd be like, come to the plane and fight the Predator. Just, oh, it'd be amazing. I got one of these little embalm cards, I guess. Whatever. And another planes. Um, eh. This one's brighter, but it's, it's kind of a blue land. So, I'm not... 
not super high on that planes either. Oh. Now they're back. I know I'm like the slowest unboxer ever here. So let, let's try to get these up where you guys can actually see them before I just wig out on uh, on what we have. So we got the cons. So we got this. I'll let you guys see first. Yeah. Oh, Crocodile Crossing. We could possibly play that in there. I, I don't think he's going to make a slot in the commander, though. No. This is uh this is this is kind of cool. Oh, boy, shaka! Oh, there's my girl. Anyone that watches my channel knows that I my my favorite planeswalkers without a doubt, Liliana. I, I just 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 like thematically, I fucking love Liliana. Um, she's great. Uh, she's styling. Pimptaculous in a purple dress. You understand what I'm talking about? And that was back-to-back -back packs, bro. Syphilides and bro. Syphilettes. I got the Gideon of the Trials and the Liliana. These were the two cards I was looking for. Boom! Both in one box. Both mythic rares. Your main man, the most mythic of all time, baby. And uh, whoa, God! What do we have next coming up? What could it be? We're still looking. We're still looking for an invocation. I got two boxes, baby. You only will see one of them, but damn. That's something right there. That's something right there. Yeah, Liliana, Death Majesty. And this, and this, and what do we have? What do we have? Oh, looks like I wasn't recording there for a minute. <laughs> what do we have? Uh, Honored Hydra. Oh, the embalmed Trample guy? Uh, I, I don't know. I... I'm, I'm thinking this is just going to be not, not, not good. And a generic. Okay, wait a minute. No, this isn't the one. One of the, one of these I thought was kind of good. And I thought the Bond 2 Swamp was pretty decent. I really wasn't. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. There's a, a Sphinx dude on the top of this one. Speaking of Sphinx, that'd be a money invocation right there. The, uh, the, uh, what is the Sphinx name? I'm sorry. Again, Sunstroke. So, yeah, I've got pretty hot today, so. I might not be remembering too much, but uh, anyway, that might be a jack to both of us. Who can know? What's that? Oh, Seraph of the Suns. Flying indestruct indestructible. Boy. A 4 4 flying indestructible for seven. That's that's not too good. Uh, yep. And we're looking for a. Uh, yeah, we're, we were looking for this one. This this is uh, this is going to be a good commander card. What? Oh, wait a minute. And oh, what's a foil of the uh, foil forest? So, uh, and a normal forest because you're right, why not? And they're different, so there's, there's that, I guess. That's something. Take a look here, let's see what we have. Uh, okay, so. Hmm. This one might possibly he's like in the in the consider pile for my uh, my deck. Oh wait a minute. We have uh curator of mysteries. Uh, okay, alright. Four drop rare flying. Whenever you cycle or discard another card, scry one, cycle one, four, four. Oh, he's good. This is he's good. Uh I definitely could see him being a commander card. He's probably too slow for any other format, but a 4-4 four, four flyer for four is good, and then he cycles, and then whenever you cycle or discard another card, scry one, I mean, that's solid. It's not breaking the bank or anything, but he's solid. Oh, here we go. Now, this island I also like. I might I might get a whole set of those. I kind of like that one quite a bit. The cat token. I think that's our first cat token. We haven't hit any of the, uh, any of the, uh, the, the, the bicycle lands. Honestly, I mean, I like them because they have the basic land types on them. I think that, eh, I don't think they're going to be worth very much. Horror of the Broken Lands. That oh boy, that's the kind of thing you see in Within the Ring of Fire right there, baby. Like, brat, what's really good? I'm on the Broken Lands, son. Uh, whatever you cycle or discard another card, Horror of the Broken Lands gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. Cycle for one, four, four. Mm. 
It's not really that good. I think that's new art for Evolving Wilds. Maybe someone will correct me, but uh, yeah, we'll probably go and throw that in our deck. That's that's okay. Hooded Brawler. All right, now let's trial of strength. Oops. This uh, I think Bonji's Monument is actually okay. Uh, black creature spells you cast cost one colorless less to cast. That's okay if you're running a super creature heavy, but whenever you cast a creature spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. You don't have to do anything, though, for that. That's just, it's free. Yeah, I mean, it's not impressive. Okay, we've already looked at her. And we have uh, uh, Heaven, Earth, eh, whatever. Red, green, definitely not my colors. However, my son really likes those colors. He has a Red Green Commander deck, so I don't know. His his I, his deck is ridiculous. I spent way too much money on it. <laughs> it's got like a Tega in it. Yeah, just to give you an idea. That's right, original dual lands and fetch lands and so in libraries. I'm like, I might have put cards a little too difficult for you in there. Sorry about that, bro. Uh, yeah, so that, that, and this. And another one of these, so we don't have anything good. Oh, the, I, I kind of like this swamp. It's it's okay. It's almost Lorany, but the little obelisks in it are pretty cool. I do like obelisk. I'm a big Lovecraft guy. Prepare, fight. I don't know if, again, if any of those are really monetarily worth anything. I've never really been a big split card guy. I just, I don't know. They just don't quite do it for me. I like Fire and Ice, and there's a white, white red one that uh, I, I vaguely try to work in the decks. So I bought a place I've never used them. Again, this is the junk indestructible. I mean, oh, here we go, here we go. Soul Scour Mage, um, one two for one red prowess. If a source you control would deal non-combat damage to a creature and an opponent controls, put that many minus one, minus one counters on that creature instead. Uh, I quite like this card. I have a, uh, I really wish Hippotra had red in her. It really upsets me that there's not a red, green, black commander that works well with minus one, minus one counters. There isn't. I looked at the partner. I looked at everything. They're just not. And then that swamp. It's a swamp that, oh, it looks okay. Well, it looks okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't hate that one. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, another uh, Montu's Monument. Then some Jackal Dudes. Then, I don't know, what is that? A Minotaur? Minotaur Javelin here. Oh no, it's, it's Merciless Javelin. The Merciless Javelin here. This is a Minotaur Warrior. Yeah, whatever. And we have the Plague Belcher. I kind of want to put this in 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 my Hapatra deck, but I don't know. I mean, it's it's three for five four with menace, which is great. And when Plague Belcher enters the battlefield, put two minus one minus one counter on target creature you control, which is actually quite good in the deck. But whenever another zombie you control dies, each opponent loses one life, which isn't good for me because I don't think I have a single zombie besides this in there. So, and it says another. And we have the uh, the uh, our first. Our first planes, so and oh, the snake token, which is I'm gonna need probably a ton of those. So the snake tokens are welcome. The uh, the zombie tokens, not so much. The uh, I mean by that I mean the uh, the mummified ones. I, I just I just don't think I'm gonna use them. So I don't know. I do try to I do try to be the guy that brings his tokens. I like to have the appropriate token. Particularly when I do tokens, sometimes it's like it could be eight different tokens in the same commander deck, and it's like. You know, that, that gets really, I think, kind of taxing on other players. Like, uh, and I've seen play mistakes happen because of that. I think this is, this is a, this is an okay commander card, I think. I think, uh, I think I could see that fitting into some budget commander builds. I, I quite like budget commander, too. One of my, uh, one of my buddies who's trying to make a budget commander league. Oh, there we go. I think this one might have a little bit of value to it. The Avon Mind Sensor. This is a reprint. Which of course is going to limit the value somewhat, but you know, he's still uh, he's still here. And yeah, Catland, Catland Plains. I have a friend that wants to build a, a cat deck, so those are probably just those probably just go to him uh, if I remember to uh, to put him in after this. Oh, that pack just like fell apart. All right. 
Hmm. Painted bluffs. Oh, hmm. I don't. I don't really like this type of card. It's it, it's cool in theory that they brought deserts back. I think they should just reprint the original desert. I don't know why that didn't see a reprint here. I think time spiral or time shifted or whatever it was was the last time we had desert back. And it's not like desert particularly expensive or anything, but it's it's a cool card. I, I like desert. I don't see any reason you have a, a reprint of original desert here. And well, I guess I guess camel you don't want to because it's banding and they're like salty with banding. I guess I always like banding. I thought banding was kind of cool. By force, uh, by force. I mean, this is a halfway decent card. You know, I guess I guess it'll probably have some standard play, but it's really a commander card, I think. Uh, that's just a weird card. This is probably not something I'd ever play, but oops, put a black force down there. Oh, and there we go, a uh, scale behemoth, uh, six seven. That's apparently just just impossible, impossible to deal with in limited. So, but yeah, I don't think besides that, it's going to really do much of anything. And uh, Glory Bound Initiate. Yeah, whatever. Some of these I'm going past are probably good, but you know, I'm going to try to take forever and actually learn what they are. So there, there's our first uh, Bolos uh, Forest. Bolos Forest, eh. Really not my favorite. I'm not, a, I'm not a green I'm not a green player. I mean, come on. I mean, let's, let's just be real for a minute. I'm not a green player. Uh, Selesnia is my least favorite color combination. That being said, uh, I, I do, I will play it with uh, Asban. I will play Asban because it has black in it. And everything with black in it is just better. I don't really like black and red, though, oddly enough. Let's see here. Uh, oh man. I think these cartouches, like, I think they should maybe have made that stuff a little bit better because they try to make it like a big gimmick, and I don't know, I don't know if anybody's really getting with it. Maybe you are. Let me know in the comments below if you like the cartouche, baby. And Pyramid of the Pantheon. You know, I don't know how good any of these are. I'll probably open some good stuff. I mean, I got excited with those two planeswalkers, like, brah, brah, back to back. And, you know, I'm just, I'm really just looking. I, I want the, um, something menagerie. It's a Naga. I don't understand Nagas. I don't know why we have Snake, Warrior Snake, Shaman Snake. Everything, maybe a rogue, cleric, but we also have nagas like the snake. I mean, they're exactly the same. They're even cobras, like they're the same thing. But nagas can't be running snake decks, which would be good because snakes are a, a tribe people like. But the naga, who is a snake, can't be running the snake deck, even though they have snake people that look just like nagas. So uh, it's a weird to me. Okay, I don't know if we pulled a synchronized strike before. Not, I mean, not that we wanted one, but oh, -ho! there we go, baby. Good Lord, you understand? Nest the scarabs, and yeah, you're gonna say yeah, it's like a five six card, but I don't care, man. I want this card, and maybe even more copies. Who can know? I wouldn't mind having a playset besides that. So I wouldn't mind having five trial and knowledge. You know, the trials, yeah, the ones that go with the cartouches. I don't know anybody like those out there. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, that was my. <laughs> I thought that was uncommon. I was like, "What? Where's my rare?" Uh, yeah. So there we go. Uh, failure comply or failure to comply, however you want to say that. And there, there's the mountain that I like. So I think that I think that's a very pretty mountain. I think mountains often have ugly artwork. I mean, there's tons of well, there's a few really nice mountains out there, but often ugly artwork. And I don't necessarily need full art for everything sometimes, but. I think something like that's nice, and that that might uh, end up a, a string of those might end up in a a deck of mine at some point. It kind of sucks picking all this trash up afterwards. I should have like brought a garbage can in here, but I didn't. So okay, uh, trial of strength. Yeah, I don't really. In fact, in fact, trial of strength. I think that's the one that's pretty decent. <clears throat> so there's this. Oh boy, I can cycle for two. I can cycle and gain two life. That's a winner right there. Uh, and then that guy. Oh, Shadow of the Grave. This is another one I wanted. Like I said, maybe if I make that commander deck, that this would definitely go in there. So I'll put that over there. And we have a foil of uh, uh, Blazing Volley. Common, one red. Blazing Volley deals one damage to each creature your opponent's control. 
Coil looks pretty cool. That's it's not a bad card. Particularly like if you have the little red dude here who gives like um minus one minus one counters and everything. So I mean a minus one minus one counter on all uh all all your opponent's creatures. That's not bad. Uh, that's kind of a cool looking mountain too. And we got a true heart duelist token, so whatever, I don't care about that. Alright, alright, let's see what we got here. Boy, I take so much time to do this. <laughs> like I'm, I feel like almost an hour we're done. Another Nest of Scarab, so that's, again, uh, very much welcome here. Got this guy and this guy, and well, boom. Oh, there you go. Uh, Kef Nut the Mindful. I'm trying to pretend like I'm excited. I don't fuck him. Um, uh, Bullis Plane or Bullis uh, Mountain. Sadly, I'm more excited about that, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to trade him to somebody. Uh, that's absolutely like this is Library Alexandria. I, I never liked Library Alexandria. People go, ah, oh, Library Alexandria. That. Uh, Barbarian would burn the library down. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully he's got a little value right now so I can trade him for something. I don't know, like a cat token or something. <laughs> um, we got this guy over up here, over here. Oh, there we go. We wanted this guy. This guy, um, Baleful Amit. He's a, a, a 2 1. And, and this is based on a real Egyptian creature. From, well, not a real Egyptian creature, but a mythological, a real fake Egyptian creature. This fake card is based on a fake real thing that's fake and real simultaneously. And counterminiously, I suppose. Um, so it's a 4-3 lifelinker, crocodile demon. When Baleful Ahmed enters the battlefield, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature you control. Mm, he probably doesn't make the deck now that I'm really kind of looking at him. He's just, it's not quite enough. I think the Plague Belcher might trump him at, at the same price. And uh, I think this is one of like the, the absolute worst. I think this is like one of the 15 cent prayers, so. And nothing really there. Okay, another pack time. All right, Anubis, dude. Give me something good. I'm looking, I'm looking for an invocation. I'm looking for an invocation. That's what I'm looking for, so we'll see. Start finish. It's not bad. Again, um, by force, not bad. The big crocodile I'll do not bad. Oh, there we go. Harsh mentor. I think he's one of the. Uh, what? Yeah, this guy's going to be good. He'll probably be played in modern. I'm guessing. Uh, two two. He's a hate bear. Whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact creature or land on the battlefield, if it isn't. A mana ability, Harsh Mentor deals two damage to that player. I mean, that's nice because it's opponents, not you. So, I, I definitely think he's probably going to become worth a lot. I think. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, by a lot, he'll probably get up to like 15 bucks at one point. That's okay looking. It's an okay looking. Islands, I think, overall, probably have the highest percentage of pretty lands. Beast. There's a beast. I don't know. Not too impressive with that. Care about that beast. There's a Minotaur. I don't know. Do Egyptian cows look like that? Because that thing kind of looks like a goat or a ram or something like that. Doesn't. I don't know. Maybe somebody could tell me Egyptian cows, in fact, do look like that. I'm no expert on what Egyptian cows look like. I want to state that uh, emphatically for the record. But I don't know. That doesn't really look like a cow to me. Minotaurs are cow people. Bovinish. Like my man Melvazide. Uh, so, yeah. Another one of that, dude. And, hmm. Vizier of Many Faces. Oh, this is the, this is the good clone. So we're lucky to have this one, too. This one will definitely end up somewhere. Uh, a double clone and commander. I mean, this is, this is pretty fantastic. I quite like that card. I wouldn't mind grabbing another of that as well. So that's, yeah. Clone is such, is such a good commander card. I mean, you know, not clone itself, but the slightly better iterations of it. I mean, nothing, not there's anything wrong with clone, but, you know, it's just been outclassed. Uh, 
the the honed Kopesh. Go get your fray, you know, my friend. Uh, you could definitely get to see with it or fire some of my uh, some of my influences from the old Egyptian setting. We do love the Kopesh quite a bit. So we have I don't know some cat or jackal people. This is something going on. There. Okay, what can I tell you about? It? Is that spring spring mind? Okay, and I don't know what this is. I'm not look at trial of solidarity. Okay, okay, this is okay. It's not super great. Because it ends up costing you one, so it gives you less, but it mana fixes. I mean, this is, this is only, this is, I think this is the only play ever going to play in a four or five color commander deck that might have uh, financially not, not the strongest of uh, on a foil of, I don't know, this chick who's a common, so, wonderful foil. I'm not ever going to do it anymore. And, oh, another beetle, under the insect, I should say. So, we're, we're. I think only on two insect tokens now. It's kind of kind of uh, unfortunate, actually. Again, like Naga, like why not snake? You get a lot more play out of it. Speaking of Nagas, they're two right beside each other. We got this one again. That. Ha ha! Boom! 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 Shake the room! Oh, Nissa Steward of Elements. Bro, that's pretty good, dude. I hit all... I think there's only three Planeswalkers in the set, isn't it, then? I'm not talking about what you get out of the uh, out of the packs. Out of the out of the booster... Uh, Planeswalker packs, what they're called. But that right there, man. And, uh, and uh, an island. There, Bolos. Wow. Wow. That's, uh, that's, that's fantabulous right there. That is absolutely, absolutely excellent. I wish that Kopesh was, like, cool. I, I want to run this Kopesh, bro. <laughs> I want to run it, man. I can't even mess up with no one. Something gives you plus one, plus one. Man. That, ain't, that ain't my jam. Damn. Damn, I wish I did something good. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here's, here's another one that I think was the first one of those. Vizier of Remedies. Uh... I like it. I like this card quite a bit. That's definitely, definitely one I'm going to keep. Another one of that guy. And some of these I have to look at. Like, I might be, you know, impressed with some of these afterwards. Uh, never return. Oh, um, I don't, I don't have really any use for non, I don't really like Vindicate, to be honest with you. I, I don't like Sorcery Speed, uh, single target removal. I want to get there on instant speed. Sorcery Speed removal will lose you games. Um, it will once you run it for all it will. I think that goes in the trade binder. I think somebody might want it. So the the trade binder that I don't really get <laughs> anything from. Um, God, I used to, I used to be like a great like I used to be great at trading, but I don't know. I've just I've lost the interest to it. Was this this is the uh, faith of devoted. Yeah, it's not very good, I don't think. Sad because it is black. And the Jackal Champion, dude, I don't know. Um. Eh. He looks like a bad uh, Elvish Piper. You might see some standard play. I'd probably put him in my trade one. Another planes, Bolos. And uh, Zombie. Uh, these zombies aren't my favorite. They're they're in the middle somewhere. There's so many zombie tokens. There are a lot of zombie tokens. I have at times had various zombie decks. Oops. Come on, man. We we're, we're running out of packs here. So really, what we what we love to see are as a, as an invocation. Another one of those. That's that's appreciated. Uh, I don't know. And then that. And what do we have here? Um, that doesn't look very good. Sandworm Convergence. All right. I mean, that's a cool idea, but eight mana enchantment. Whenever, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, creatures of flying can't attack you or planeswalkers you control. Well, let's get the planeswalker can't. That, that sucks when you're trying to pillow fort them up and you just can't put planeswalkers in your deck because your cards don't protect them. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, create a 5 5 room worm creature token. I don't know, bro. That's eight. I mean, this might see some commander play, but. Whew. Eight for an enchantment. That's that's rough. 
and a, a, some booty common foil, and another one of those. I kind of like that one though, so that's okay. We have, uh, we have, we have five, we got six packs left. So, the longest almond kept unboxing. You see how the dudes like wing these out in like nine minutes. Like, bah, bah, bah. Not me. I'm gonna have some fun and talk to y'all, man. So, a mangle horn. Hmm. Oh, I think this is not. It has its uh, has its favor. I think that's not really a good one. Again, I'm just kind of basing that off of. Uh, Hearsay, because I didn't actually... I, I think I read it at one point, but... Not really something I was looking for. Alright, alright. We got we got this and four more packs. So let's let's all pull together and uh, and, 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 and gauge a barbaric revelry. Look for that invocation. Invocations are like special insert cards that they put in Magic that are like reprints of old cards. Some of them are actually worth a decent amount of money. I don't know which one's the most of this set. Uh, I certainly wouldn't mind a Cryptic Command... I wouldn't mind a, um, well, there we go. That is our first, uh, bicycle island. That's our first one. Fetid pools. Probably the most valuable because it's black blue. I guess it all depends on what really plays in the set. But having anything that keys with swamp particularly is important because they have a cycle of lands called tainted and you need a swamp in play. And I am not a big basic land runner, which is part of the reason I, I'm starting to get a little particular. I'm like, okay, I had four basic lands in the deck of that type. Let's, Let's let's do something nice with that. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have that. I I think the price of those is only going to go down. Um, you know, to me, to me, those are probably somewhere around the somewhere around the price of a Skyland. The fact that it is it is basically land types certainly is going to help those. Um, oh, okay, so we got this one. One of the Sphinx packs. Another Kopesh there in the comments. So, oh, I kind of like him. And right that one. Oh, uh, Glyph Keeper. Five drop Sphinx. Five three. Flying. When Glyph Keeper becomes the target of a spell or ability for the first time each turn, count all that spell or ability. And embalms for seven. Uh, he's okay. I don't know. I don't really see him being valuable, though. Of course, uh, any of these. Predictions of mine could turn out to be uh, of, of no of no value at all to you, or perhaps all the value. Who knows? Who could know? Oh, that's a jack. The pack, it, like it had like I don't know, a little damage on the top of the pack somehow. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, yeah, it looks like it only hit the commons though. So whatever. Uh, Kef Nuts Monument. Kef Net. I guess it's not Kef Nut. I horribly mispronounce all these things, and uh, I think we already have this one. Gideon's Intervention. This seems like it's not going to be worth very much. I don't know. Uh, the Bontu Swamp. We like that one, I guess. And, yeah, so that's, that is done. Now let's get another one here. We have not hit a Hapatra, which is... It kind of sucks. <laughs> so, uh, whoops. There we go. Let's hit that evocation. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Chant with me. Oh, there we go. Uh, bond to the glorified. You know, whatever. Um, I think I got, I'm just going to get like five mythics out of here. Yeah, he just got bounced across the table. I'm well, I'm just, I'm, I'm disgusted with bond to. I'm disgusted, man. Why can't you be more like Erebos? You know what I'm saying? I mean, why can't you be like Erebos, sucker? I really, really was hoping for a minus one, minus one counter, dude. I'm like, I mean, let's read him and, and be disgusted at him together. So, these aren't as good in, whoops, these aren't in, as good, in my opinion, as the gods from Theros, just in general, because those revert back to enchantments, which are harder to remove when they're not active. These, when they're active, are still creatures, which makes them really easy to remove while they can uh, uh, <coughs> not really be creatures, you know. <clears throat> uh, it's a three-drop mythic, Menace Indestructible. 
bond to the glorified can attack or block unless a creature died under your control this turn. Pay two. Ugh, that's brutal, bro. One in a black. That is brutal. Sacrifice another creature. Scry one. Each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Four, six. I think he probably goes into the trade pile. Let's just... That's just... There's just so many... In Commander, there are so many better sack outlets. And for free or for one. And the two might not sound like a lot, but when you want to just go crazy sacking stuff... Or even just sack a little bit, you know, it can really be a problem. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, Glory Bringer. Glory Bringer. Yeah, that's that's definitely. Oh, ho, ho! this is probably gonna be worth some. Look at that, bro. That's a foil right there. I just thought just garbage, like you know, about everything in this slot's been garbage so far. But look at that one. Ha ha ha! Yeah, that's right. Regal uh, uh, Caracal foil. Somebody's going to want that. Somebody, and, and, and a uh, Forest Bolo style. That's okay. We're, we're not the biggest fan of that one. And that is it. That is all. That's all we got, folks. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. But now we're definitely going to have to tap out, baby.